In this video, I'm going to attempt to replace the internal battery in my Roland XP60 keyboard. Turn it on. Now, I don't know if you caught that. There was a message saying, user memory damaged, followed by low battery. This isn't telling us that the user memory is physically damaged. I think it's more a case of some of the settings may be corrupted due to a failing battery. For example, the display is quite dark. If I go to System, LCD Contrast, take that up, I think that's quite good. OK, I'm happy with that. Now, if I turn the keyboard off and turn it on again, it won't retain the setting. In fact, I'll do that. Turn it off, wait a few seconds, and turn it back on again. And there's the user memory damaged and low battery message again. And the screen is back to being a little dark. To make it light, system, LCD contrast. There, I think that's okay again. Before I change the battery, I need to do a data dump to retain any settings I've changed or sound edits I've done. This is assuming that they haven't already been lost due to the low battery. The data dump has to be sent to an external sequencer or door through MIDI, so I'll just connect a MIDI cable to MIDI out. If you're not bothered about keeping your settings, you can skip this section. Go to Utility, scroll down to Data Transfer, Enter. Source All, everything. Destination, MIDI, that is to a MIDI device. OK, start my external MIDI device, my sequencer, and press Execute. The message says transmitting user performance. OK, just got a message saying complete. I'll stop my external sequencer. At this point, it will be good to check to see if anything has actually been recorded. I'll open my list editor, and there you can see a lot of system exclusive data. I think it's accepted the data dump. OK, here the keyboard is inverted on a bed, with the modulation control stick hanging over the side. There's a lot of screws to undo, so I'm going to start off with the ones around the edge. In fact, I had to undo all of the screws, including the ones along here. But not the ones here, which is the cover for the expansion boards. So, now I should be able to just lift this off. And there we have it, the inside of the XP60. I've got four expansion cards. And here's the internal battery, which I'm going to replace. I wasn't sure if it took one or two batteries, so I bought two just in case. It looks like it's only one. OK, so I've got one battery ready to put in. I'll try to ease this out gently. Well, there you go. Gentle pressure on the retaining clip on the right and the battery popped out. Put the new battery in. Make sure the polarity is correct. There we are, job done. Now just put the bottom back easing it gently into position. 
Now it's just a case of putting all the screws back. Now, let's turn the keyboard on and see what happens. Well, that looks okay to me. No low battery message. The display looks a little dim, so let's turn it up a notch. Next, let's connect a MIDI cable, MIDI in this time, and send the data back from the external sequencer. So, the MIDI data is going in now. Just a few more seconds. Okay, that's it. Let's just do a final check. Turn it off. Wait a few seconds. Turn it back on, and this time the screen should be the same brightness. Yes, I think it is. So that's it, job done. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.